If you're looking for that place to take the special someone this season of love, then the Film House is definitely the place to be. Welcome, guys. This is the Film House TV show, and as you know, it's the home of everything movies and entertainment. My name is Chinonso Arubai, and on this episode, we'll be bringing you the lowdown of all the amazing movies coming straight out of the cinema. Don't go anywhere, as this episode promises to be really exciting. Coming up. We have a rundown of all movies currently showing in the cinemas across the country. And as always, we connect with our super fans on Fan Zone. So stay with us on this incredible journey through this fantastic world of movies. So two incredibly amazing things are happening this week. First off, Black Panther hit cinemas this week, guys. I'm so excited. And of course, it's the Valentine's season, people. Happy Valentine from us here on the Filmhouse TV show. We love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Now, moving on to Black Panther. Like, I'm super stoked. I'm super excited. Black Panther now has his own movie. And we really, really, really can't wait to see the wonders of Wakanda. Like, the hype has not been here my goodness i'm like super stoked i can really really i can't keep calm guys <laughs> it's been so crazy i've been waiting for this moment since i first saw black panther in the winter soldier story it's crazy and it's definitely going to be interesting it's valentine's season okay so i'm definitely going to ask a few questions about you know what's trending right here in the cinema don't go anywhere guys happy valentine's day from the film house cinema Hey girl. Hiya. How are you? What's your name? I'm also. My name is Ife. Okay, hi Ife. So Ife, when I say Valentine, what comes to your head? Love, love, love. So apart from love, what else comes to your head? Holiday. Ah, nice. <laughs> you know, treats and you know. Ooh, ice cream and cake and things. That's nice. That's nice. Peace. Enjoy. Red. And what's the first word that comes to your mind? Cars. Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> love of course how excited are you to see black panther very excited i mean i've seen the trailer and it's pretty interesting so i'm really looking forward to seeing it i can't wait i can't wait to see it as well <laughs> all right thank you so much you're welcome i'm excited because uh time for africa to play lead roles and to show that africans too can can be superheroes yes. the um the the westernization and the parts where uh, the europeans are playing our head but the only one that can make things happen I like that. Yes, I have superpowers too. <laughs> I'm so excited because I want to see there are a lot of action, badass things I want to see, you know. Yes, I can totally relate. I can very I can relate with you. Well very. I mean I'm meaning to see it. We are kind of excited. I would like to see it. I give you a free ticket to go and see Black Panther. What would you wear? What would I wear? Oh I could I'll just wear a black gown. I don't know. It's my tin. I'll just wear a black gown. <laughs> I, 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 I would try to dress like a superhero myself. Yes, because um, um it's time for, for us to, to have that belief. So everybody who really can be um, a mentor to other people. Uh, so you're going to wear a cape and what else again? <laughs> yes, I, I believe so. Well, I'll wear a shirt with a black panther design on it. Oh, that's very risky. <laughs> nice. A jean and a t-shirt or something. Which something. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know yet. <laughs> okay, what would you wear? I don't know. Anything that comes to mind on that day. <laughs> nice. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.
feeling they have left behind shadowy figures from their past. Kristen and Anna finally embrace a shared life of, you know, connection and luxury that comes with their new marriage. Now, while Anna is actually getting used to her new role as Mrs. Gray, and of course, he's settling into unfamiliar stability, they seem to be threatened by something, you know, something threatening to jeopardize their happy ending. I don't know. This movie is crazy, okay? And I'm sure it's Valentine's season, so you might want to spice things up and check out this this movie all right okay guys this is the film house tv show i think definitely that after the black panther movie i'll go and watch out for this movie don't go anywhere guys keep watching the film house tv show components of sensuality and sexuality, but it is primarily a love story between two people who are so intricate and so intelligent and so multifaceted that even the different aspects of their personality and the different aspects of their life, whether it, whether it be family or work or um, their sexual preferences, are all sort of in orbit around the fact that they are just madly, deeply, fiercely, severely in love with each other. They kind of compromise um, that they will try to work things out if he becomes more honest and open with her, which is all she really wanted in the first place. Um, and how the last film ended, you know, was quite heavy on Anastasia. And I think that the fact that it was so intense and such an awful thing that happened and she still wants to go back is sort of a testament to how strong their love is. This is always fighting the side of him that could be totally unhinged and his way of controlling that is by being very controlling um, in, in everything that he does. The whole of Darker is about will their relationship survive and will it survive the emotional, psychological complexities that exist in each character and how they can work that out and change and also a personalized threat that comes from Jack Hyde and Leela, uh, who's a literal threat to their relationship because she's, they're a threat to their lives. And so they become almost a symbol of the outside forces of society and stuff that would push Anna and Christian away from each other. And it's just realized in this uh, physical threat. He's such an honorable and wonderful and hilarious, talented human, but we have this sort of friendship that is... We built it around trusting each other, so it wasn't something that it was like, oh, I realize years later that I can trust you. What's a great thing about Dakota is only she knows what I'm going through and only I know what she's going through. You know what I mean? Like we both sort of really need each other through this process because there's days where it's not that easy and a lot's been asked of us. I think particularly a lot's been asked of her in terms of the physical stuff and she's usually the one who tends to be wearing less than I would. And, you know, I mean, that's changing slightly in this, this these two movies. But, um, you know, you need to have that person that understands and has been with it since day one as well. Jamie and Dakota, uh, and this is not any exaggeration, from the very first day we shot to the last day we shot in Paris, they never had a ounce of friction between them uh, at all over 105 days, whatever it was. And you know, that's pretty unusual for any two actors who are in almost every scene together in the entire movie. There's always moments where somebody's in a bad mood or 
they don't like what the other act is doing or this or that. There was none of that, zero. They just had this very comfortable, very humorous relationship with each other where they laughed constantly. Foley is a, is a really nice person and he is nice to be around and doesn't have this outrageous personality and isn't like, you know, he, it's, the, the set is a very, very mellow vibe. Good morning, wife. Husband. Don't ask me. This is Gray. Look out your window. What you know is true. I'm taking you away for the weekend. I just can't believe this is my life that I get to live with you. Oh, I love your precious heart. It meant nothing to me before you. Anna Gray's office. We wanted to welcome the new fiction editor. I bought it for us. I should have asked you first. I love it. Oh my god. Christian. This is Gio Matteo, the architect. This location is perfect. I'm going to build you a fabulous house. Please stop speaking to my husband as if I weren't here. Anna. <laughs> you may call me Mrs. Gray. I'll pick you up a five. I might not be done by then. We're being followed. How the hell are you, Anna? Jack, what do you want? So you want to play? Yes, sir. I made a vow to love you faithfully, forsaking all others. Did you sleep with her? To comfort you in times of need, and to keep you safe for as long as we both shall live. Wow, sounds exciting, right? I know. I'm definitely going to see this movie right after I'm done seeing Black Panther. Now, don't take my word for it. Be sure to get your tickets at the Film House Cinema and come and see this movie yourself. Don't go anywhere, guys. It's still the Film House TV show. Keep it up. You're telling me that the king of a third world country runs around in a bulletproof cat suit? Why don't you ask him yourself? Because he's right outside. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's time for Film Focus, and you guessed right, today's Film Focus is Black Panther. Black Panther is arguably one of the coolest Avengers by far. And he's not just your average, you know, vigilante superhero. He's actually a king. My king. Stop it. A king to one of the most mysterious countries in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, King T'Challa, as he's referred to, is arguably one of the richest Avengers. It's even rumored that he's richer than Tony Stark. My goodness, you know how rich Tony Stark is. And all thanks to the vibranium, which is actually found only in Wakanda. Now, vibranium is that thing that, you know, they used to make Captain America's shield. If you're a Marvel fan, you know what I mean. But, you know, let me stop gushing at this point and leave you to check out this Film Focus trailer. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hola. Let's go. go. My son, it is your time. 
Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only get it started now. Cause we own ya. Everybody think they know me now. Cause we own ya. You and not my homie now. Cause we own ya. I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'ma burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. What kind of forever? The revolution will not be televised. Let's have some fun. Shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. Explorers have searched for it. Called it El Dorado. They looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. I'm the only one who's seen it. And made it out alive. right i know so here's a rundown of the amazing movies currently making the rounds in the film house cinema nationwide it, it doesn't look like an engagement ring though should it that's because it's a promise ring eh? hey don't punish you if i don't punish your entire generation jew from the producers of the hit movie, Hire a Man, it's another blockbuster titled June. June is a romantic comedy that follows a wedding planner played by Michelle Didi, who is in search of love. The film, which was directed by Desmond Elliott, is playing now. It's Valentine's Day. Go check out June. This will be a designer wedding gown. This will be made of Gucci. This will be made of Adidas. It is my wedding! It is not your wedding, it is our wedding. You, me, our wedding. And is this what you call a menu? You are so incompetent! Excuse me? I paid her for a service and she hasn't done it! I apologize. So they don't! I know, I can't, I can't. Get out! Get out! Odds are we're not all gonna make it out of this one. If we don't take that city, World Trade Center is just the beginning. 12 Strong tells the story of the first special forces deployed to Afghanistan after 9-11. Under the leadership of a new captain, the team must work an Afghan warlord to take down the Taliban. There's no playbook here, we're gonna have to write it ourselves. 
I ain't losing one man on this team. You could stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. We're fighting with horsemen against tanks. The greatest weapon in history is this. There ain't no easy way out. If you die, that's a letter you and your wife are gonna wish you wrote. I made her a promise. I'm coming home. Won't back down. Twelve Strong, the declassified true story of the horse soldiers. Hey, pay attention. This is yours. Most important thing, keep your finger off the trigger at all times, unless you need to shoot somebody. When that happens. 3170, we're being held up. Hold it until you run dry. We are under heavy fire! Keep your eyes open. Every cop in the country is going to be looking for us. Den of Thieves, a gritty crime saga which follows the lives of an elite unit of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and the state's most successful bank robbery crew as the outlaws plan a seemingly impossible heist on the Federal Reserve Bank. Do you know what this means? It means I am a member of a gang. Only we have badges, which means you are done. I'm my best. Do you look like the types who arrest you? No one could see that. Put you in handcuffs, drag you down to the station. We just shoot you. Boom. You're not the bad guys. We are. Same like the whole city go against me. We're running out of time. You've seen what's happening out there. We're coming up behind! Maze Runner. Young hero Thomas embarks on a mission to find a cure for the deadly disease known as the Flare. Thomas, Newt, and Frypan are the last of the Gladers, immune to the Flare virus that's infected the world's population. They invaded WKCD transport train in order to save fellow Glader, Mino. You still care about it, don't you? Don't lie to me! Come on. How many kids do they have to round up, torture, kill? When the hell does it stop? It stops when we find a cure. Thomas, you can save your friends. Or you can save us all. Please tell me. Please. Welcome back. It's still the Film House TV show. My name is Chinonso Arubai, and I'm here chilling at the Film House Cinema in Surulere. I sure have had an amazing time. Be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms scrolling right now on the screen. I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back guys, you're still on the film house. <laughs>